Autonomy is an illusion. Oh my god! What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are breaking out the kayaks today. We're actually fishing a lake in downtown, right next to Love Field Airport. So we're gonna see if we can get some footage of some airplanes for you guys today. The place looks absolutely uh, like a fun spot to fish. It's very windy out. I did not think it was gonna be this windy, but I'm also gonna be joined by Torrance and one of his buddies. We're gonna break out three kayaks today. We're gonna see if we can't get on some fish and check us out with the new swag, man. Wu Tungsten has hooked it up. They sent Devin and I one of these long sleeve shirts right here with the hood. You know that's my favorite when we're out here in the Texas heat. I want to stay covered, man. If you guys are digging this thing right here, go check them out over at Wu Tungsten and also get some weights from them. You know it's been the tungsten we use on this channel for a very long time. Love their product. And uh, yeah, we are rocking it out here today. Let's go ahead and get the stuff unloaded. Torrance is going to be here in just a few minutes. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start prepping these yaks. I mean, it's pretty windy. It's real windy. Dude, the spot lock is gonna be the only way we get stuff done today. This is insane. We're not even out on the water yet, and look, the road team's here. All right, man, check us out. It is windy. I mean, we are putting the motor to the test today. I maxed it out at four miles an hour the other day when it was glass. We're gonna see how fast it will go in this right here. Also, I wanna show you a couple things before we get launched. Xavier is also meeting up with us. He's got his John boat uh, style deal, or Pelican boat. And yeah, man, I think we're gonna have a good old time. We're in no rush, it's 5.30, it's so windy. We are uh, <laughs> not trying to just get out there and get blown all over the place. So we're gonna wait till the whole crew's here, then we're gonna hop in there and try and get some fish for you guys. All right, man, check us out. We're decked out, drinks, and uh, dude, it is so windy. I'm gonna have to strap this thing down. Look at how much room there is on this boat. I literally have my black box with all the rods. Got the cooler, come up front with me. Check out all this deck space, man, insane. Literally real world high wind test on the Old Town Sportsman 120 with autopilot. We're gonna see what happens, man. I don't know if Spotlock can hold up to this. Let me know what you guys think. We're about to get out of here. All right, man, Xavier's here. And loading up the Pelican, check this thing out. You guys have seen it one time before. Y'all were asking how heavy the kayak is. I mean, it is so heavy. This thing is so heavy. With that cooler and that motor on there, lugged it down here with all the gear haven't done that before wow one time is enough that's all i'm trying to say whenever we load up later i'm putting the truck right here <laughs> yo maximum depth 14 feet impound in 1903 fluctuation one foot hit normal clarity stained cover is limited at bachman the dam offers some submerged brush okay that holds sunfish crappie and bass yeah. there are sporadic stands of native emergent vegetation on the shoreline lake records largemouth bass about eight pounds but uh, i've heard of some bigger i've say, heard of some take, big man. stuff here nobody told us about the kayak launch <laughs> Shoot. launch time how much more does this kayak weigh than me right now i don't know she's probably sitting at 175 to 200 pounds with all the ice and drinks in there and then all the rods and reels and gear in here this box is literally full camera battery i mean 200 should be easy estimate so yeah let's go let's get her down then you gotta push this down here it gets pushed down in that cleat that locks it in place so should be straight let me turn on this remote yeah all right here we go man first time taking this thing out on some big water let's see what's up we're gonna try and catch up to the boys land your own not that bad man not that bad i'm digging it On a kayak. Now <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, man, we got some steady chop today. It's gonna be an awesome test of the kayak. Third time out on this thing, right here by Love Field. So cool. Torrent's right behind us on the PDL 106. We do some first impressions and reviews of that thing as well. Check those videos out. And then we got the boys back there in the Pelican. We're about to make things happen. We're working our way to the first spot. We are gonna cast the lines. We'll see you in a second. Dude, that was actually sketchy. Oh my god. For one, you're out here shaking, and I'm like, okay, is this thing gonna blow me over? Surely it's not. But then I'm like looking up, trying to get the shot, feeling like I'm gonna fall over. That was nuts, dude. That looks good. We rolled up to what looks like a good little first spot to start casting. I just trolled over here a little bit. Let me hit the old spot lock. And let's see about working this little zone for a second on the crank over here. This is about a six foot diver. No clue on the depth where I just casted. Been to find out. Oh, there we go. There was a little action. Yep, right here too. Oh, they're everywhere. Spot lock is working today, y'all. Yeah, they are. Surprised I haven't got a hit yet. Let's party, everybody. Stand up. Uh, what's in here? Oh, there we go. Exactly what I wanted. I bet you there's something back here. Where's these fish? Prime real estate right here. This is pretty cool. Hit the old reverse button. What do we got right here? Anything? There we go. That's a cast. Oh, here we go. Look at this, y'all. Okay, Texas rig is stuck, so... Well, this is something a little different. So you mean to tell me I can have it spot locked right there? All right, so he's spot locked. Let me hit the bank real fast. Here comes the next aircraft. All right, well, I hit this. I think I'm gonna chunk the crank out again. Let me see if the valet has got my car. Don't mind if I do. Uh, all right, let's crank it on up. This has gotta be the sickest kayak. <laughs> I mean, I just have too much fun with this thing. Well, boys, we haven't caught anything yet. I was about to say, as y'all <laughs> the fishing's going great out here on the old uh, <laughs> Love Field Lake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes another plane. Dude, it's so sick. You know when you got like a couple minutes uh, heads up and you can get over there because that plane's coming in right behind them. It's nuts when you're under there. If you're just looking up, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Dude. Almost had a casualty. Crankbait just got stuck on the yak. Okay, well, that was pretty lucky. Some serious stuff didn't go overboard. All right. Crank salvaged. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Oh, there goes some shad. Dude, they're everywhere. All right, y'all. I've been mixing it up with the Texas rig. I'm throwing a natural crack and crawl. Core round swoop tungsten weight with the uh, hmm, four rod hammer hook. And I've been mixing it up between that. Every time I see some brush piles I want to get into and the shad crankbait here, we're seeing shad jump everywhere, man. Busting. The bass are chasing them. And Xavier got, Xavier got two catches on them already, the crankbait. So... We know it will work. We're just kind of coasting down this bank line, and then we're gonna hit some areas of this place that's entirely different, showcase the entire spot if possible. There's bridges down here. There is uh, a creek. We really want to hit it all. There's some more, it looks like, cover along the bank, and we just want to give this place the full rundown on our first visit. Even though the fish were hitting on that other side, we even see another boat working that same wall where we saw a lot of the uh, shad jumping. There's shad jumping everywhere over here, so it's not to say anybody's making the wrong choice. I think it's just a matter of time. Let's see what happens, man. We made it to the next zone. This is looking kind of good right here. It's very shallow, a lot of structure though. Here we go, this will be better. Yeah, I'm throwing the underspin swim bait. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? What is going on out here? There's a lot of deception out here. All right, well. I already know what happens when I go into this thing. Y'all hang out down here with me. It's gonna be tough to convince me there's not a bass right here. All right, here's a little new area. Oh. Motor kind of auto shut off there when it hit a stump. That's smart. No one's fishing back here. I bet they know most of these fish must be out deep. Real shallow back here. I did want to showcase this whole uh, lake for you guys. It looks pretty dope back there. I wonder if it deepens up. Man, 
man, we're out here contemplating as the sun is setting what we could have thrown to caught these fish. Torrance, what'd you throw? A Carolina rig. Carolina rig. I threw Fluke. A crankbait. Crankbait. Jerkbait. Jerkbait. A, a, jerk bait. Jerk a bait. bait. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. And I threw bottom baits. Xavier, what did y'all throw on the boat? He threw bottom baits too. Yeah, man, we started out hitting them pretty strong with the square bill, man. We tried to switch it up to the, what is that, chatterbait? We threw the jig. We actually even threw a turtle, believe it or not. A turtle? A turtle. Believe it or not, we even tried to hit him with a the turtle. Then I was over here with a swim bait with an underspin. I figured even with this clarity, that could get something's attention when in the shallower waters. Then when we got to the deeper stuff, I was throwing a shad crankbait. And I also had a frog in some of these areas where I figured, okay, maybe I can get up in this grass. And then also uh, the Texas rig, the crawl. They were mixing it up with some worms, got a couple bites, and we're walking away with two fish, little dinks, a pound and under. Woo! That's what happens when you try new lakes sometimes, man, but I had a blast on the kayak, I will tell you that, and with the gang, seeing all the planes, this was a cool spot. Definitely gotta come back. There's actually a boat ramp here, so we'll probably drop in the hot tamale in a future episode. Let us know where you'd like to see us fish in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, guys, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. We're gonna go ahead and load these things up and get out of here. Peace out. <laughs>